We are here to bring you everything and anything surrounding Porsche. I'm Mike. I'm Aaron. And this is P-Car Talk. All right, welcome to another episode of P-Car Talk. I'm Mike. And I'm Aaron. Special guest today, Andy Bizup, Adam hey. Kern. Yeah. Thanks for coming on the show. It's Thanks good. for hosting this great event. We're up in Chicago because they hosted such a great event. It Checked good. it out, Chicago. We're currently at uh, Midwest Performance Cars. As you can see. In the, in the mix, right? Yeah. Like where, where all the business gets done. So we're, we're excited to have you guys on the show. Well, thanks a lot for thanks. coming. Of yeah, course. absolutely. Of course. So clearly we're up here because you guys put on a great event, checked it out Chicago, and bought a draw a lot of people from Lots a lot of areas, everywhere. right? Yeah. I mean, 160-plus-ish cars around that. Is that about right, guys? It was more. It was closer to 190 than 190. you have all oh, those. Nice. Okay. We had a so, lot of you know yeah. gate crashers too. That <laughs> I mean, we took some cash from some people in the morning, and yeah. said, hey, you're not registered, but okay, cough it up because we're a nonprofit and we're not made of money. But exactly, you know, some probably you got procrastinators. Too, you you know? should just. To, you know, yeah. shit the, or get off the, the Johnny pot. come lately. Yeah, right, exactly. Right. Hey, this looks like it's going to be a great show yeah. now. I'll go. Oh, wow. You guys are rolling deep. Okay, <laughs> oh, I'm going to pop and in. The, and Damn. the weather is excellent. So, okay, I'll get my ass out of bed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was another thing. We I want to say, I three say days that I went. rain, and then yesterday was picture oh. perfect. Yep. You yeah. know, so it got it got all the cart. The it car was meant out. to be. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was awesome. So the huge event, right? It was second second time it's happened. Yeah. Um, check 2019 or check 19. That's our hashtag. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy that you've gone. The growth. Yeah. yeah. It's, I wouldn't even say, oh, you've gone a step above. I mean, you probably, let's say if it was step one, probably went to level five. That's what I was hearing the too. The second. And, and, and that was the consensus mm -hmm. with just the people that attended the event. Yeah. We heard great, great feedback. I mean, I've several times from several people I, I heard, get ready because there's like a wave coming yeah. with the, the way this event went. And last year was kind of like a glorified cars and coffee almost you know 70 cars i mean we mm -hmm. had a great time don't get me wrong and but to go from zero to 100 like we did too yeah. you know and now it's it's truly a happening if you don't mind me saying oh, of course <laughs> it, I, I think, happening i think that everybody who was kind of half pregnant on the idea of maybe coming or not coming mm -hmm. shame on you guys for not coming yeah. because you guys really missed an outstanding event in the midwest because this area needed something like this and everybody who drew in from local states and everyone else was so thankful to have something like this kind of centralized it's in a c cool urban area to have yeah, the really backdrops are outstanding phenomenal. the venue was outstanding i couldn't thank you guys enough for for putting in the work because everybody who's listening that maybe doesn't know this thing just doesn't happen <laughs> not, not i mean there's months and months and countless hours of planning and work it goes behind the scenes and high stress Absolutely, and, and having it actually having it in an urban setting is really adds a lot of to layers complexity. of complication. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, but, how many cars do we tow? Quote unquote tow. Right. Well, the <laughs> yeah, city, exactly. and, and actually, I want to call out the city of Chicago. They did a fantastic job. Uh, the, the the tow truck, the streets and sand, the police commander, and the local aldermen were all really cooperative and really helpful with everything. So yeah. just kudos to them. And outstanding on that too for them, for you guys wanting to have an event and then helping support that on, yeah. on the city side. And that's what, when you hear good stories, a lot of people always talk bad stories about city municipalities or something like that. Yeah. But mm -hmm. when something like this happens, it really shines and it should yep. be brought to attention. So I'm glad yeah. you we, said we, that. We took, yeah. over, we took over a whole block. I mean, that's yeah. no joke. Right? In Chicago. Yeah, it's yeah. downtown. Yeah. It's it's, not, this isn't yeah. like, yeah. Er, you know, suburban yeah. nowhere where there's right. a, no traffic. Right. The this mall. is three blocks from Google headquarters, five blocks from McDonald's exactly. headquarters. Yeah, it's, it's like the it's hottest It's a busy, busy, busy area yeah. that you guys were able to get the city behind you to give you the area that you needed and to yeah. support that. That's huge. Yeah. yeah. And like I told uh, some people, I'm like, well, this the same location won't be an option next year because it's probably going to be in development to be some you know giant high rise already. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Unfortunately. Same, and the yeah. same scenario was with our uh, location last year. That's going to be this, this giant hotel. You know. Yeah. You keep doing events. They keep building buildings. Right. That's, so we're going to have developers with great spots who want us to come yeah. Yeah. because yeah. next year they're going to have a multi million dollar <laughs> development. <laughs> that sounds like sponsorship. Yeah. It's the, yeah, yeah. It's the right. precursor to yeah. the, the development to of the big property. Payoff. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just follow us. We know where to go. Yeah, outstanding. So let's talk a little bit about how this show came about, what it's about, mm -hmm. because I think it's a great story and everybody needs to hear it. And I cannot tell it as well as you are because you're so close to it, Adam. Mm -hmm. So like yeah. you have the floor and like, let's hear that story. 
so it really starts with this community, right? Because you guys are here. We we met at DRT, mm-hmm. and you know you, you were you guys were at Luft Six last you know this past year, and so for us it it starts with going to Luft Four and uh, meeting everybody out there, and mm-hmm. then so I came back from it, and you know you're looking at your Instagram feed, and there's this there's this guy Karsten Karsten Ofkabauer, who I knew of. I I didn't know him at the time, but he you know he he. Uh, his outlaw build, which is here in the shop right now, was mm-hmm. kind of internet famous. And he made a comment on someone's post about how we need a Chicago outlaw event. And actually, not too long ago, I was like, I gotta find that goddamn post, yeah. right? <laughs> and I'm like, who could, who, where's this spark at? Where could it be? And I'm like, you know what? I think it's probably Andrew Florin. So everyone out there probably knows Porsche's, yep. right? <laughs> and so I'm looking at his post along the timeline of Luft 4 and I couldn't find it. So maybe it was Andrew, maybe it wasn't, but Mm -hmm. whatever. Didn't get to find it. So that whole summer of 2017 we're at PCA events, you know, our local region, talking to Carson, getting to know him. And and then one Sunday after another event, I'm like, you know, you said something about the Chicago Outlaw event. I don't have an air-cooled car. Kind of do now, almost. (laughs) Uh, So (laughs) <laughs> another, that's another yeah, episode exactly <laughs> stay tuned uh, for episode yeah. two on that <laughs> right, right. so i just say to him like man i want to support this event volunteer whatever or let's just do it and he was he was right on he's like cool i don't care we both said i don't care how many cars we got the hurdle is doing the first one so that lingered a while we talked about it uh some more people came on board you know the the third man after that would be john westra mm-hmm then we wanted to set up meetings and we got past the holidays and you know so i sent out an email or actually a facebook message to karsten like hey let's uh after christmas is over let's get together you know you me and john and we'll talk that message never got a response Mm -hmm. so then you know i see on his page that uh he was gone and I had I had got a message from him for Christmas, just wishing you know happy holidays, and did the same to him and everything. Yeah. So, so that was that. You know, he was no longer with us, right? Which is, uh, yeah, you're right. And um, so then I got to go, got to go to this guy. So <laughs> there's a, a winter swap meet, mm-hmm. and we met there. Where you had a customer there, I think, with a 964, that yep. navy blue one or whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, you know, we're trying to do this um, show, this Porsche show event in the city. And you were like, I'm all in. Let me know. Here's my card. And a uh, very valuable asset since then. Yeah. And then, you know, you go on. And the, there's the three of us now. And uh, we pick up more guys. More people want to get involved. And uh, John Neurader, who's a very big Porsche guy and owns a brewery, he gave us the location for our first yeah. event and nice i don't know i guess it's kind of like a rest yeah. of history kind yeah. of deal right it kind of snowballs right <laughs> yeah it does you know so once you start to spearhead it yeah you start to spearhead it and everybody kind of says all right mm-hmm. they're they're not talking they're doing yeah mm-hmm. well and the, and the thing is it really started out of it, it really grassroots it wasn't like hey let's do something to you know, we can create a show and make a bunch of money. Yeah. We were right. like, hey, let's let's do this get together. And then when we realized, hey, there's going to be costs involved and we're going to start charging money, let's do it as a charitable. Let's do it as a, you know, completely yeah. raise some money for good causes. And the, Absolutely. Other, the other thing I have to say, too. So during that winter, we're thinking we're uh, workshopping names, you know, and uh, a lot of uh, proposals for names were German words, you know. And I'm like, yeah. you know, we love Luft. But they got a lot of imitators. You know, yeah, exactly, how many right. L-U-F-T things are out there on Instagram and everything? Good point. So I'm like, I don't care. No German names whatsoever, <laughs> right? And then it's just like, well, what if we just do checked it out? That's Karsten's handle on Instagram. And I'm like, it might take some explaining. Yeah. But I think it sounds pretty freaking cool, right? What what a great way to honor a friend yeah, too, really right? Cool. Yeah. And there is a story behind that. So it was uh, Claudia, his widow. It was their little 
tongue in cheek thing. So Carson mm-hmm. liked to go to cars and coffees and check out cars. So yeah. Was, you tell her, I'm going to check it out, some cars. You know, he, had a, <laughs> he didn't really have much of an accent, but he was from Hamburg, Germany. Yeah. And that's just yeah. the way he said it with her. And, he, um, you know, he said it with a wink and a smile to her every Sunday, like probably getting his hall pass to go do his thing. Exactly. You know, and then uh, Instagram happened for him, and that's the way he uh, made his handle. And, and we're thankful for that. Yeah. It's fantastic, you know, and, honor, a, and honoring him. Exactly. What a great story, you know born out of a, a tragedy yeah. essentially and a, a great way to honor a person like a, yeah. an enthusiast and mm-hmm. good for you guys for doing that super cool um thank you for sharing that story yeah. that's a good story he, let me add too he did have a water pumper so we're not uh yeah no. <laughs> by including the whole the whole brand which is essentially part of our ethos you know we yeah we want the, the suvs and the four doors we want the 924s we had a lot of 914s we want yeah. everything exactly you know? yeah, yeah. And I think that's a good way, like, because that's what we kind of want to do, like, with the podcast. It's not like we're just air cooled. Like, it's it's one of those things where we talked about this offline a lot. Yeah. Break down the barriers. If you're a 356 guy or you're a Boxster guy, it doesn't matter. We're all Porsche guys. Yeah, it turns out day. it's all fun. At the yeah. macro level, or we're even all... a 914 guy. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and Rather I think, newly minted. And I think I think guy. we yeah, right. we personalize or or, or even. Uh, subjectively categorize people and say, oh, well, you're a 964 guy. Well, no, I'm really just a Porsche guy. <laughs> yeah. I just happen really, to own a 964. Yeah, exactly, yeah, right? Yeah. So I think that's... But what a great what a great thing. And, and I, I want to circle back. It probably... Sure. Uh, Carson was probably looking over since you guys had so much rain and then how beautiful <laughs> yesterday yeah. was. And then... Yeah. Like for everybody like who doesn't know, we're not from Chicago, but yeah. uh, Andy made a good point. He's like, yo, if you don't like the weather, just hang out for a little bit. As, as this morning, Man. Sunday morning, it's a little yeah. dreary and yeah. windy out. But yesterday, there wasn't like a cloud in the sky. Right. It was perfect. I was I was looking for the last 10 days. I've been looking at the weather forecast first thing I on my phone to. every morning. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I'm, I'm the optimist. I looked at yeah. it and I was like, all right, it's still night. You know? And we yeah, we had three days of huge rain. There's flooding like all over the city. Uh-huh. And then Saturday was perfect. And then mm-hmm. I wake up this morning. And it's gray and overcast. Yeah. And this would have kept a lot of guys, car guys, in their garage. Yeah, exactly. Right? So, right, yeah, right. we had, like, divine intervention. I so agree. It was cool. The Friday, I, on my list of many things to do leading up to this event, you know, uh, one of my neglected was washing the car. <laughs> and I did it in the rain at 6 a.m. Friday morning, but whatever. Neighbors think I'm crazy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, they. Uh, my neighbors think the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. I come home there for the event and I'm washing the car and it's raining outside and they're like, it's raining on your car. What are you doing, well, clown? You, what they really yeah. don't realize is you put it in the garage and wipe it down and you're gold. Exactly. My you're neighbor's ready. a Ferrari guy and I, all I know is that he just looks enviously at my <laughs> driveway <laughs> as I'm driving different Porsches home every day. <laughs> nice. Nice. That's great. Yeah. So let's talk about some of the sponsors and some of the people who attended <laughs> the event, right? Mm-hmm. So, so you guys had a uh, quite a few good sponsors i would say so let's talk about that well, for a minute so first of all going back to last year i gotta give props to continental tire okay um you know they're legit Conti. legit company right and they're they lended us their support when we were just a crazy idea and you know they hooked up our uh, our charity that year the hundred club with a nice check mm-hmm. and everything and I think that says a lot about a big time manufacturer that's mm-hmm. willing to take a risk on something like you said you had no 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 history <laughs> no background yeah. and you're basically just saying we're hoping this thing obviously becomes a big thing, but we don't well, know. We, yeah. we did have a connection with Brian, who's the head of their marketing, and him and our buddy Doug. They're they're tight. So, yeah. well, it helps. It helps yeah. when you have a warm right, lead. It right, does. Sure. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. We install a lot of county tires here, so yeah, that helps it too. Helps in, yeah. And then so so Rock so so Rich, you know, Rock's Motorsports in New Jersey, the builder of Karsten's car. You know, mm-hmm. he was with us from last year and lended his support this year and then got his customer, Mr. John Fudge, to ship out on his own dime That's the so Chicago cool. yeah. Outlaw. John's cool. Yeah, John's and, a very cool dude. You know, I really wanted to surprise everybody and not announce that it was coming. Uh-huh. And what do you think? Were they? Oh, people are blown away. Yeah. I mean, yeah. and you know. Yeah. Got a lot bl- of talk about it. God bless her, Claudia. You know, it was very tough for her to see the car. You know? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, and she spoke she on the Friday night event too. And yeah. she, 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 was she, she's a trooper. She made it through that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. I know that probably wasn't easy for her. Sure, um, but I think maybe, maybe you know, I'm just speaking. I don't know her personally, but just from like experiences to see the support behind mm-hmm. it too, maybe gave her strength as well. Sure, saying yeah. like how many people are like, wow. 
how many people this care, is, about, yeah, care about, you know, mm-hmm. like this event and him. And yeah. this is really cool that this is in his memory. And, and that's the amazing thing about, about this brand, about the Porsche brand, mm-hmm. the way it connects people. I agree. I mean, cars are great, but they're, they're cars, mm-hmm. all of them. Mm-hmm. But I, I don't, there's not another brand that really brings people together and creates the kind of relationships mm-hmm. that I see from uh, that Porsche does. Yeah. I mean, just the, just the people that were at the show yesterday, Rob, you know, from mm-hmm. 964 page. Yeah. I met that guy because of Porsche. Exactly. And know? he's in from London. And right? he's in yeah. from yeah. London. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. So the other uh, sponsor, Mid- Eurosport, Midwest Eurosport, they brought the whole race trailer out, right? Yeah. And those are some cool cars. I mean, that... Yeah. Or, brought yeah, their race cars out. That was really that cool. That totally happened organically once they got on board. And, like, we'll, we'll dedicate Kinsey. We'll call it Racers Row and, you know, dedicate it to track cars. That's and I'm cool. really thinking we need to, to hype that up and go forward and mm-hmm. double down on that for next year. Because, yeah. I mean... That's a good idea. Race cars seeing cool. a, seeing yeah. a race car come off a trailer in the middle of the city. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And That's they have cool. some really cool yeah, they cars. Had, they had a tribute hybrid GT3. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to rat anybody out, but John had his race car last year. Mm-hmm. And post-event, we're just like we're hanging out, and not many cars left. But we put it on the street. He drove on the street, went through a stop sign or a stoplight, <laughs> came around the corner, and that was wild. Like, yeah. shit, I hope you don't get busted. This like, is really <laughs> cool. Your loud-ass car, GT5 yeah. class or whatever exactly. he's in, you know. <laughs> that was neat. And then, uh, you know, Tim Olson, he was our first – Yes, uh, yeah. our first for top year. level sponsor for this year to come on board. Yeah, so he was the first guy to step off the base. Yeah, uh, all all kudos to him. Yeah, talk. And, let's talk about him for a second because yeah. he's an interesting guy and does some great builds. And I feel he deserves a, some 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 time yes. to talk about. Right. So, totally. like, you guys know a little bit more about him. Can you elaborate a little bit about what he does and the kind of builds he has and stuff like that? So, so Tim, he has a shop out in the near suburbs. He actually lives like five blocks away from me, which I didn't even know wow. until I met him. <laughs> okay. Right? So okay. that was really cool. Um, but then I love the fact that like yesterday, not only did he bring his latest commission build, that mm-hmm. 964 in that custom purple, yeah. and have it, it wasn't finished, so they put it on a rolling rack yeah. to display the process of does. building it and the insides of that. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know how much confidence you have to have in your build <laughs> of course to show yeah. the exposed yeah. backbone yeah. right and it is meticulous it's unbelievable but then he also brought the first car he ever did mm-hmm. which was a 79 930 yeah and ba- and we were, he and i were walking around and he was like oh i look at this car and i'm just like <laughs> oh my god i can't believe i did this <laughs> you know because it was so it was the first car right yeah. we all get better as we do things it's true as but any, that takes a lot great of, artist yeah, yeah, but that takes a lot of, I mean, that takes a lot yeah. of balls yeah. to do that. And yeah, you have to be very, you ha- have humility to do that, to yeah. know, and be humble about it. But it's still it. a 930, and it's still a cool car. It is yeah. very it is. cool. Let's be yeah. real. Yeah. yeah, it is. And he Super had the before cool. and after picks, too. Yeah. So, you know, he did do unbelievable work on it. But just a great guy who really deserves a higher profile yeah. and deserves Super some attention. Super high-end builds, right? Super high-end. The other yeah. thing, too, is he's the, the JRZ distributor, and his guy, Brian Heiss, is... You know, he's which is even, a big deal. Yeah, he works yeah. with 311 RS and setting up their cars. You know, we all know what Lee did uh, two yeah. weeks ago at uh, Road America. Exactly. You know, so totally the real deal, right? Yeah, if you guys don't know, JRZ is basically <laughs> race suspension, oh, yeah. the ones that are listening, because we have some people that maybe not know what JRZ is. That's a big deal. It's up yeah. in Europe, and they're good stuff. Yeah, yeah. very, yeah. very good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Big, takes big checks. To yeah, right. and yeah. elaborate just from seeing his cars in person, you know, the 964 Fashion Gray car, the Smyrna mm-hmm. Gray car yeah. that he had, and the back date that you said, uh, that you mentioned that's kind of in process of getting complete. It's yeah. just gorgeous. Yeah, he, it, and, and his taste level is so great because it's it's it, it's beyond just uh, we're just going to redo a car or you know the the kind of standard okay the outlaw you know the mm-hmm. outlaw tail the lines yeah. Yeah. exactly um, he's he's they got don't miss re- anything he's extremely creative and really meticulous with you know CNC machine parts custom designs yep but it, it's not pimp my ride stuff either right no, <laughs> no I mean it's not super at all. tasteful yeah it's so, very uh, motorsport driven yeah yes. <laughs> like on. The fashion gray car, what stood out to me, which was I thought was really cool, one of the touches I and I saw on the wheels, it had that like dimple uh, bronze matte finish on yeah. the wheels. That was so cool. Right. I, just little stuff like that. Like you said, yeah. Like if you know what you're looking for and you see, start to see things and yeah. you start to 
I spent a lot of time in that area looking at those cars because I was just blown away about yeah. his craftsmanship. Right, the black nine nine three too. That they extended the flares like you, yeah, you, it looks factory, right? It right. does. It, you're right. You couldn't tell like, and there was a lot of people that couldn't. Yeah, right, right. And that green outlaw build, he explained to me just the process of fabricating um, the the air cleaner cover mm -hmm. that stainless steel brass wow, and so bronze yeah. air cleaner cover. gorgeous and the process of doing that and he was fixing some other guy's build yeah because that that yeah. he he got he actually he Which saw is the hardest thing to do yeah, right that, the owner is a, a newbie to chicago i think he transplanted from the west coast yeah yeah so yeah, yeah that's we, one of the hardest things to do because you're basically you're you're chasing the unknown what do i got yeah mm -hmm. yeah and tim can't can't disclose he, he can't disclose it and can't disclose the name but he he cares for a major 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 yeah. major collector's cars good for him many yeah. of them I, yeah. and, and i would imagine what better guy to do it because yeah. obviously he's very meticulous yeah. about what he does yeah and he cares about his name being on something you can see that totally in mm -hmm. his work yeah mm -hmm. so great guy yeah. great cars and what yeah. an asset for you guys to have somebody like that so close yeah. by too yeah. yeah for sure yeah that's awesome. Yep. So, so Bosch Car Service, and you have a relationship with them. They came and hooked us up too, yeah. sponsored us. Yeah, we're a Bosch service shop. Both of my locations are Bosch shops. Mm -hmm. And a, gr a great company, um, and they were last ones in. They, they came in at the 11th hour. They're like, hey, we want to be a part of this. Mm -hmm. um, we don't want anything from you guys. Uh, we want to support it, and we're here next year too. So, awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great, really great people. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. And then, the last one would be Mancuso Auto Arts, yeah. which is another one you're very well connected with. Yep. Yeah, they they painted the uh, they actually did the paint on the blue paint and body on the blue car okay. behind us. Um, yeah, we have a really good relationship with those guys. The Mancuso and family is deep in the whole yeah. car culture here. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're a little involved in cars. Multi generation, <laughs> just yeah. a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> even um, they sell the prancing horse too. Or yeah. Whatever. Yep. <laughs> whatever. We won't, we won't be upset at them for that. Yeah. No, no, of course not. Yeah, yeah. but they've done a couple of personal cars of mine and they're also customer cars and they're just just great great work so i think it just shows too how well everybody wants to get involved in the community of what you're doing just being in the second year of it and just to mention all of those sponsors you've already mentioned mm -hmm. those are a, a lot of heavy hitters that want to get involved so kudos to you guys for putting on such a good event because those type of people wouldn't want to get involved, obviously, if it wasn't a good representation, and clearly it is. Well, I, I, one of the things I would say, and this is this is thanks to Adam, this is his end of it, is there aren't very many events like this where you're bringing in multimedia art mm -hmm. and the cars and the people and these different concepts, and he's the creative guy. Mm -hmm. of this. Well, the other thing too is all that. So Mac Blackout did that you know eight by eight canvas yesterday giant canvas and i tried to get with him last year you know like could you maybe do a logo or a t-shirt design he's like well i'm kind of beyond that and i like to paint live you know that's where it, the work is for me okay and i was like okay cool maybe we'll be fortunate enough to have a sponsor to pick <laughs> that up next year and we did and we had the sponsor porsche cars north america yeah you know, furnished Mac to us, you know, That's for six cool. hours of work, right? It's so awesome. And, I mean, they took care of us with some other things, of course, sending Mr. Ray Schaefer on yes. Friday night yeah. to speak to our charity reception, which we raised over $7,000 with that event for Bernie's Book Bank. Exactly. You Outstanding. Know? And how good was Chris talking about his passion for reading? Absolutely. Let alone a cars, right? Absolutely. And I mean, think that that's another good thing. I'm glad you brought that up to highlight that you're giving back to the community, which is huge for yeah. what we do instead of saying, oh, this is us, us, us. It's yeah. like, what can we give back? Yeah. We want to give as much back as we can. Mm -hmm. We want to make a positive impact on whoever mm -hmm. we can in our area. And that's great. Well, mm -hmm. it, it, it's, it smooths the path of actually getting the event set up because when I can go to the city and say, look, it's not just a bunch of guys with Porsches getting together. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we're not smoking and, and, cigars and drinking bourbons and just exactly. like right. talking about how right. great we are. <laughs> right. right. We're trying to do something good and exactly. give back to the community. Yeah, you know? you, you, we had this dilemma very you know, workshopping this back and forth over the offseason. You cannot be named after a guy you know, who'd honor his legacy and be a for-profit entity. <laughs> right. Good point, right? That would be this blasphemous. Crap, yeah, you know? blasphemous yeah. <laughs> right. to do that. And, yeah. and, you know, so we... We're involved in this Porsche community, and shout out to the Octoon Craft guys, you know, especially Tony and Brian. And they're like, 
if you guys are ever for profit, you're fucking dicks, and we're out of here. <laughs> <laughs> this is a uh, podcast, right? This yeah. is not over the air radio, right? No, no, no. no. It's not going to get bleeped it's, it's out. A, no, no. It's, you're getting it all. I know. We like keep it real. Yeah. We keep it real. This is There's Chicago, man. It's actually, <laughs> There's no cutting of anything. Anything goes. It's, Let it's me say, we're on the west side, man. This it's, ain't. We are on exactly. the yeah. Yeah. Wild, wild west side. Yeah, yeah you're, you're a Cubs fan, right? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's. Oh, I will say you. that that is my goal, man, to have checked it out on the south side. There you go. And the, and the near south side is becoming a happening place too. You know, that's where mm-hmm. all all the cool kids are. I think are, it, are I think you, you, know, you know? the fact that you're you're a doer by pers- by per- personality, you'll mm-hmm. have it where exactly where you want to have it at. It may take a couple of years, but you'll right. have it exactly where you you already have the momentum behind you. And in the city, like there there was talk last night. Checked it out as a, a destination. You know, mm-hmm. it's. Maybe it's tucked away somewhere cool, a little off the beaten path, you know. And but, like uh, our friends Tim and Molly of Gearhead Workspace said yesterday, you know, you want to go there. You 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 have a ticket or whatever. You know, we did tickets, mm-hmm. free tickets, I should say. Yeah. And you know, you're seeking it out. You yeah. know what I mean? You're not stumbling upon this or laissez faire about it. You yeah. Know? I had so many people because I walked around the show just doing a live feed for all the people that were missed out. And I had so many messages from people saying, oh, I should have win. I should, and, and I kind of gave them a little stern on the backside. And I was yeah, like, you should have. It, well, it's not like they were hiding the event. They right. told people about it. So should have, would have, could have. Be a doer. Yeah. To show up. Yeah. Yeah. We actually had a preview event in July where we were just like. Mm-hmm. Just to introduce, hey, out. this is the location. This is get together. Yeah, you know, this is what's going to be coming. You know, a little teaser. Yeah, and we so dedicated on. that to mm-hmm. all the guys and gals, Pam mm-hmm. Brundage, uh, <laughs> who were down with us last year. You know, yeah, the seventy cars, and we wanted to give them a little hat tip, That's right? Cool. Yeah. So yeah. come on That's, out, and you know, yeah, it's exciting too to see to be so close with you guys. Even though we just met, like we and we've talked offline all about this. Mm-hmm. And and you and you've touched on it with the Porsche community. It really is a real thing. It's not BS. It goes back to we didn't know you guys in February, but I sent both of you guys a mm-hmm. message saying, "Here's the address to the house. You guys are in the area. We don't know you. Come right. by and have a beer and hang yeah. out. Yeah, You're cool. Porsche guys. That's right. all we need to know." Yeah. And you guys came by and yeah, you had yeah. beers and we all hung out and we've all become great friends right, since then. Right, yeah. right. And it doesn't even matter the duration. You know, we're going to be lifelong friends, but just because we've been friends for less than a year doesn't mean that we i feel like we've known each yeah. other a lot longer than that yeah mm-hmm. or we got a lot of similar touchstones yeah, right? yeah. and speaking and of uh, drt and people reaching out I and mean, we got a nice message yesterday from al from oh old, yeah old speed Mr. yeah yeah nice. LT himself so al, al rodriguez from drt uh-huh. um he is send you know he was he was planning on bringing his car up here uh it wasn't finished it got finished supposedly on i think he said on wednesday okay so he didn't have time to ship it yeah um but he was gonna ship the car up here and then drive it to north carolina Oh, for, for the, tar- the Targa? For Targa, yeah. yeah. Um, so didn't make it, but during the event, he was, I mean, he would comment and sent me a couple of messages. He was like, oh my gosh, it looks, because he was seeing the feed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's like, it looks great. And, you know, hashtag boom, you guys really pulled it off. That's so really it's, cool. It's, it's really, it is really mm-hmm. cool. And I love, I love Al. I mean, Al, I met so many people just from going to DRT three years ago mm-hmm. and then going every subsequent year. Yeah. Um, and he's just, such, he is such a great guy. He is. Yeah. Al Alvarado is such a, a genuine person and he really, really loves the community. And it just goes back to that gen, genuine thing. And most industries, you would think it would be competition or yep. something, right? Like, yeah. he, and you guys talked a lot about how much help he lended it to, with his experience. These guys were tired of me saying, well, this is how Al hey, did DRT in yeah. year two, right? <laughs> because I tapped Al all the, I was like, hey, you know, when you were in here, well, how, what'd you do? How'd you do this? What, what's the best way? And yeah. he was really forthcoming with advice, really generous. And I go to these guys and I go, well, DRT yep. did it this yeah. way. Why well, reinvent know. the wheel? Right, well, yeah. right, totally. A yeah. wise man uses prior knowledge to, you know, close that gap. Yeah. And I think that's what you guys did. You can definitely see, I didn't come to the first event, but, everybody who did go to the first event and talked to us and came up to us and were like, it was great. The first one, but Man, this levels. one does there's, you can't even compare what yeah. this was to that. Yeah. It looks like a totally different thing yeah. to all together. Yeah. yeah. And it, and just a, a, what an amazing thing and an amazing city too. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's really, kind of really cool. cool. I think that's another draw you guys have. Maybe a lot of people sure. didn't really think of it, but I, I was like, this is going to be really cool. It's going to be in the, the city. It and, is the foundation of who we are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, it it's in our name. 
yeah. printed out Chicago. And I love that that's in your name, too. Yeah. That I think that's yeah. it says you're repping your city. That's really cool, right. too. Yeah. It's always going to be an urban event. Yeah. yeah. And that was one of the things that we had talked about was our frust- when we first met, Adam and I, our frustration with all these events are out in the burbs. Yes. Right? So if you live right. in a city, you got to drive a long way. If you live in another suburb, it's, you know, they're... And they're great, but right. that's when that's the only thing there. Mm-hmm. So to have actually have an event like this that's centrally located, in you know you've got great views of the skyline. Yes. It's it's a little grittier. It's you know, it, but it like creates a great backdrop. Yeah, yeah. And, and Saturday then, doing Saturday is is crucial too because you're yeah. more relaxed. You're not worried about going to work on Monday, and you're not. We don't shut down at 11 a.m. or whatever, yeah. like some other things. You know, absolutely we extend to three o'clock and. And yeah. I think the, 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 and it's well thought out in the sense of that, too, because if people are coming into town, which a lot of people did, it gave them opportunities the day before and the mm-hmm. day after to do yeah. things within the city. Um, right. As one of our good friends that came with us, Mel, like he's, yeah. Not, yeah. Well, that he's going to a, he a Cubs game. He's yeah. at a Cubs yeah. game yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. 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 so yeah. It's, it's a dual purpose trip, right? Yeah. So you, you go hang out with some friends. So that's another thing, too. You can bring the, the other half or whoever your significant other is and see the city as well yep. and come to the show. And, and walk and go get a good bite to eat at a yeah. great restaurant and, right. and go well, grab a beer at a great place. Well, and it's all in walking distance of the show. Think about our Cali people, too. Uh, Maria Casey coming in town, you know, Pop-Tart, right? That's mm-hmm. her. Yeah. You know, she's getting her money's worth. She's doing a lot in the city. And, you know, seeing one of her, uh, you know, doing some business or whatever she's Absolutely. got going on. Yeah. Same thing with Drew from Cool yeah. Collective. Right. He was able to, to dual purpose his trip. You know, he's shoot met, some cars. Met, shoot some cars with some people, hang out. And, right. Oh, so. well, he worked with Portia Patrick, uh, Patrick Rousey, and who's mm-hmm. brought two cars from Michigan. And that guy is just solid, man. He's outstanding. Him and his son uh, drove the, the 993 and then their 32 up, you yeah. know. Mm-hmm. And uh, they shot some photos with one of our guys before they came because we are putting out a zine post-event. And we want, we doing a feature about where the Chuck It Out folks come from. You know, mm-hmm. we got the Wisconsin. We got... Jay Sotil coming in number five, right? Yeah. 901 number five. Yep. We can't believe we got this far. We haven't I talked know. about I know, Mr. Right? Sotil, right? Unbelievable. So, so everyone can grab that zine once we drop it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's going to be great. And, and, and also, like you said, PCNA supporting the event, that, mm-hmm. that shows a lot of power yeah. right there yeah. of that what was, they think of what your show is. Yeah, that was so. kind of humbling that when, we, when they came in came in to support it exactly it like, right. Ooh, wow We're, and the, uh, exactly and you know how for, we made this it. is really for real now. <laughs> exactly <laughs> right and let me tell you because of about the future and how we made that connection they hosted a mission e now tie can event over uh-huh. winter we met adam noterer and uh pcna marketing and he knew about us and he's like well let's here's my card let's talk how can we help that's outstanding solid right yeah and goes back to to big brother trying to get involved in these events so that's huge to show that support and that, to know that there's a, a whole market of enthusiasts that do this and get together. And instead of, you know, shying away from it, they're embracing it. Yeah. So kudos but for Porsche for doing that. also at the that. same time, <clears throat> they're cognizant not to put their stamp all over it. Good point. Yeah. They, Good don't point. Wanna, yeah, they, they don't, they don't want to yeah. be corporate. Right. Yeah, they don't want to diminish your event by right. saying it's like theirs, yeah. but they're right. still involved, which is, right. I think, it's a tricky game to play Fine yeah, for, for sure. them. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. yeah. But, and I think it's something that Porsche, as a brand, has like deftly mastered. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, Porsche could be a topic for like MBA thesis <laughs> Good, for a while. Absolutely. The way they've managed this brand to be so... To, for people that have yeah. such passionate connections to it. A large scale but small community Absolutely. feel. It's amazing. It mm-hmm. really is. It, it is. And it, I, I, there's no other car brand that, that no. is like this. No. It and is that, an enthusiast brand, you know. For sure. I also want to, before we lose off of this topic, yeah. uh, call out Napleton uh, Porsche. Yeah, Westmont yes. Porsche. Yeah. They, they were really, the really great guys. Classic mm-hmm. shop. You know, yeah. I'm an independent shop. shop. Everybody thinks we hate the dealers and yeah. they hate us. I mean, I, I love these guys. They really stepped up. They had great people representing. Mm-hmm. They brought some unbelievable. They brought a 992. Yes. I mean, that was yeah. awesome. Outstanding. Right? Yep. And a Sport Turismo. Yes. Right? Yeah. Gorgeous <laughs> cars. Yeah, yeah. yeah gorgeous so, uh, cars. Just just want to, you know, cite those. Absolutely. And, and they're a Porsche Classic dealer. So yeah, it totally that's huge. Made sense, that's right? huge. And right. the people that don't know, 
not everybody gets to be that. Like you have no, to be hand selected. Only, only eleven right, right now. Yeah. But right. Ray alluded to there's a few more in the pipeline. Yeah. yeah, but you definitely have to be vetted to be one of those. So that says a lot about them as a dealership yeah. that they were that they've been selected to do that and yeah. what kind of people they are. So they have a foot in the future and a foot in the past, which is very rare for dealerships because most dealerships are just about pushing new inventory. Right. So and and I was ta- I was actually talking to one of the main brand ambassador guys from the dealership yesterday and we we had met for the first time and and he was i expressed to him hey you know i really really like to have a strong relationship with a dealer and he was mm-hmm. like i'm so happy to hear that and then, <laughs> yeah, and then exactly. the other thing i said i you know i got i like i want to have a place where i can send my customers who want to buy a new porsche hey yes. go talk to this guy yeah yeah and also my wife really wants a porsche so yeah. <laughs> that helps too right? <laughs> talking exactly. to him soon. Yeah, exactly right. i'll be back yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. always good to have a poc at, at a local dealer sure. or multiple local dealers that you trust and that support you because yeah. there is a good friendship and a bond that happens there because in you know, you have an event like this, yeah, and then they get behind it as well. Yeah, it, it's a value for value. It helps them. It helps you. It's for sure, nice. and it's so. good for the. It's good for everybody who owns a Porsche, mm-hmm. right? They, they need had, us, and we need them. Yeah, they had a cruise, a little drive-in with their customers. I seen on their feed, so they met up at the crack of dawn or whatever. And, oh, nice. You know, I think it was ten cars or roughly, and they uh-huh. caravan down yeah. to. That's really our cool. Show. Yeah. yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Right. So Doing it th- right. Yeah, you guys are the destination. They got together to come to your thing. Yeah. So that's really, really and cool. And they were one of the last ones to leave, a few of their guys. You know, they were yeah. hanging out with us, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. They had a good time. Super cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what, what else can I say about the event? It was super, super awesome. Yeah. I liked how eclectic everything was. There wasn't anything that, that was the same. There wasn't a bunch of stock cars there. Right. Every, everybody had their own flair on, on every piece of every car you saw. And, mm-hmm. and, Dan Kubrick, who is, yeah. he's one of our board members and checked it out. He's an architect and mm-hmm. he did this layout design and, and then you and Dan like spa- mm-hmm. placed the cars. So it wasn't like GT3 RS, GT3 RS, right. GT3 RS, yes. right? Which we had I mean, quite a GT show. Yeah. 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 Right. right. He, yeah. Kudos to him. He did an outstanding job with that. And I talked to him after yeah. the show yeah. a little bit about his theory of why he did what he did. Yeah. And it makes total sense. And I'm glad he did do that because it kind of pushes people. And and as much as we're trying to break down the barriers, there are people that are still out there maybe attending shows. And there's nothing wrong with it. But we want to still break those barriers down where they only have a genre of car that they want to see and they could care less what's there. Right. The way this layout was is you wanted to walk the whole campus because you wanted to make sure you yep. didn't miss something because you yeah. didn't know where something was at, which right. is a good a good thing. And right. we wanted everybody who had a registered car also to feel – nobody felt like they were on the outskirts. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Everybody was in a good spot. It is, and, yeah. There, yeah. and everybody was. Yeah. yeah. It was really it was really well set up, and you could tell there was a lot of thought that went into it, and I was going to mention that, and I'm glad you brought that up, is – the, the layout was outstanding. The building flow, and then it also gives you, with it laid out that way, it gives the people a chance not to link up with another 964 guy if you're a 964 guy. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, and then just so, sit in that up. corner right. the rest of the day and just talk to them. Yeah, you see the richness of, of the whole experience. Yes. Yeah. And well, I don't think any owners are really, like, anchored to their cars, right? Yeah. No. I saw people just no, no, everybody was parked their car and mingling. then go. Oh, yeah, it was cool. Yeah. And I think it was really... in. You know, going back, and I know I keep saying this, praising you guys, but you deserve it. It's hard to create something from scratch, which you guys have done, and not have somebody say, "Oh, that's just like this." Like you have your right. own unique thing, yeah. and that's that's so. that's hard to do. Yeah, that's because there's so many yeah. things happening nowadays. People are hosting so much stuff, and they're like, "Oh, that's just like that," yeah. but it's not. Right. You guys are your own thing. So a big, big shout out to you guys being Thanks. able to do that. Yeah. And, that's what people want. They want uniqueness because they're like, man, that show is really cool because of X, Y, Z. Yeah. Right. And we would lose that if we were on the outskirts of the city, right? Yeah. yeah. Just what, go to a mall. We just put it offer. in a mall parking lot, right? right? Like, oh, yeah. good to go. Like, <laughs> yeah. just pack the cars in, man. Just bring them in. Thousands. Right? Come yeah. on in. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's not about volume. It's, it's really, it really is. It is quality. quality. Yeah. It is. And, it, and I love that you guys are doing that in the sense of, look, we'd love to have everybody's cars. Yeah. yeah, but it just doesn't make sense, right? Right, because it dilutes what's happening here. Right, I mean, just drive. If you're not one of the selected cars, just drive down, enjoy yourself, park on the outskirts, and like back to my Lafour experience, the overflow lot. Mm-hmm. You want to see oh, what's yeah. in there? Of course, of course. Right, of course. Right. And it, and it goes back to it's not about the cars; it's about the people. Right, like you brought up earlier, and it, and it sounds very cliche, but it really is. It's about these relationships we've built. 
and yeah. others are building yeah. that we don't even know. They're like, oh, hey, oh, you're from Wisconsin too? Right. I didn't even realize it. What part of Wisconsin do you live? You live 15 minutes from me. Yeah. You live the, in the town over. Right. I didn't even know you existed. Now those guys are maybe getting together offline and driving, and then next year they're caravanning together yeah. to come to the show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's what it's about. It's building those relationships. So yeah. even if your car doesn't get in, that doesn't mean you can't build a relationship. There's plenty of people that flew in no. to the event, mm-hmm. us included, yeah. right. and we've met tons of other people, and they're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I know you on Instagram. I, I follow you too. You, we actually follow each other. Right. And it's hey, let's be honest though. When you're at an event and you don't have your car, it's kind of a letdown. I agree. <laughs> no, trust me. I definitely, I definitely, like outside, I, I, like, definitely no. I definitely was yeah. sad inside. I'll, I'll be that's totally honest. I, you know, that's how I was at DRT, and I was like, oh, okay. So Andy and I, I rode along when he got his car in the trailer at the end of it. I'm like, okay, finally, like sort of in a car. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I feel like I'm part of the club. But you what know? did I say to you guys offline? I'm driving up next year. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cause I, and, and Adam, great point though. If you don't have your car, because yeah. I was yeah. already thinking that I'm like, and I told him, I was yeah. like, I'm driving next year. Yeah. That's yeah. what this event did to me. I was yeah. like, I want to drive up next year. Right. And even like, it's a long haul for me from Florida, it but is, it's worth it. For sure. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. would I would recommend hey. trailer it, or have a trailer to uh, somewhere in South Carolina yeah. and then and then yeah. do and South then, Carolina yeah, and North yeah. yeah do the yeah. do the good stuff that I might yeah. do that and actually and bring, transport it drop right? it at a friend's house in South Carolina drive yeah. it up and, and get the good roads hey, yeah. hey and bring Mr. Perbanic with you would you oh, yeah I will yeah, we can get more. we'll have to have him in tow and <laughs> right? like you know how he is he's like to stop and like look at the trees and stuff pick so up the beach glass be like Mark let's get going might take a few yeah, days it's like Mark let's get going we'd have, we'd have probably have to leave 14 days before exactly. the event to make sure we made it right. save up your vacation dude. that's right no we'll drag up Perbanic I, he loves traveling so you know yeah, he'll right, you know right, he'll right. make the run yeah. right so and yeah. we'll get a good shot at him um, you guys will see him again in DRT, so we'll yep. make sure he's yeah. gonna make it. Yeah, that'll that that'll be a good ride for yeah. sure. Like I think we'll from from our area since we're in our region. Obviously, Al will probably come and right. some of his crew down in Miami. We'll start talking him up. Yeah, yeah we we might we might be able to bring. You know you, how we travel. Can, we yeah. travel pretty good. <laughs> well, the other boys travel. And and Al was talking about caravanning. And yeah, we might be able cars, to bring yeah. 20, 30 cars in a caravan from Florida. That would be a sight to see on the way up. <laughs> yeah. The other thing is maybe we get some representation from uh, all the peeps at Road Scholars too, because I know they're aware of us. Yeah, and we had the refinery as one of our you know uh, lower sponsors. Mm-hmm. We appreciate their help regardless. Uh-huh. So Adam Krause and his brother yeah. Tyler, you know, and they just painted their GTLA bar that freaking one at Pebble yeah. Beach, man. You know, that's yeah. the that's absolutely that's legit. beautiful. Yeah, we're actually really good friends with Charles, and I'll, I'll bring that up to him. I'm sure he would love to try to make it, you know, at a minimum to represent them. So that would be a great, great opportunity. That be we can all kind of merge yeah. up and, and hey, have this hey, huge caravan. Speaking of Charles, um, in my book, he's a saint for selling. Oak Green 964 yeah. to Drew. Isn't he? Like, yeah. is that the hookup? I don't care what the price was. Exactly. Oh, my God. Gorgeous car, right? Yeah. Drew's Gorgeous a little excited about yeah, that. I yeah. think so. I would be, too. <laughs> Hell, yeah. yeah. Yeah, what a great guy and a great car to sell. And, you know, that's what it's about, too. And, like, Charles wanted to make sure it obviously went to another enthusiast. Yeah, and yeah. surely it did. So yeah. that kudos for him for that. And, and he's a great guy all around, too. And he definitely I, – I, there's no doubt in my mind that he'll probably be, be here next year. Yeah. You know, he'll he'll make I mean, the, he'll make the trip. We got Rudy to come off uh, the vacation in Wisconsin. How yeah. about it, yeah. Mister Nine Nine Three? I yeah. mean, the guy stops by for like twenty minutes. Yeah, before he's got to go catch his plane out of time. Was, exactly. Yeah, that was that's fantastic. Yeah, Rudy and the family pop in, and yeah. Mister Nine Nine Three. You yep. know what an honor to have him and yeah. talk and hang out, and, and that's I what told, it does. I told him whatever he needs next year. You know, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll look it up. Yeah, you know, Andy's been uh, great storing cars. For folks, yeah, there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, yeah it's car storage. Twist my arm when like six, six kick ass, yeah. uh, you know, custom exactly. builds come rolling into my shop. It was so funny because on, on what was it on Friday they showed up. Uh, well, no, the, the Thursday the you had, craft oh, yeah, guys yeah, they showed up on Friday. But so these guys, well, these guys, well, Thursday the uh, the you know Carsten Chicago outlaw, the Chicago yeah. outlaw came in, um, but on Friday uh, the Octune craft guys come in from Wisconsin and mm-hmm. they've got like five really great outlaw builds and they come rolling in in a line in, in my te- like <laughs> two of my like, technicians and here? one of my service advisors i actually got them on video they're like oh awesome thumbs up you <laughs> yeah know. they're like what's these happening? guys see these guys see the coolest cars all the time yeah. right mm-hmm. so we yeah we had a well, real stock it'll be a candy off. shop in here next it year. was yeah, yeah. i don't yeah, think about that i might actually ship my car 
have it here and then just drive it down. That might be the way to do it. Yeah, yeah that sounds pretty good. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Drive it until you're tired and then have it shipped <laughs> from wherever you want to stop. <laughs> exactly. to Tampa. Speaking of yeah. those cars from the uh, other side of the Cheddar Curtain, as we call it, Wisconsin. So yeah. Brian <laughs> was a storyteller this year talking about that. Yeah. That turbo he's got, you know, in his outlaw build, it was he was pretty good. Yeah, yeah Brian's absolutely. a great guy. Yeah. Right. yeah, and that was a cool thing too that they did the storytelling yeah. like aspect of like yeah. getting everybody's kind of story and popping around. I think I, I like that, you know, mm-hmm. that so people can see where people are coming from, what they're kind of doing, and and it's about the people. That everybody has a yeah. story, and that's kind of why what we're doing. We're trying to bring people onto the show to tell their unique stories. Yeah, yeah. and so. Jenny and her nine nine six turbo talking about getting into Alabama and. Yeah. Being a JDM person, right? Yeah, exactly. from that roots, you guys can, you yeah. can relate. Yeah, like, exactly. Did you Drew see her relate? license plate? Yeah. Hot sake. Yeah. How <laughs> I mean, cool is that? It's that just is badass. Cool. It's so badass. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> when really I saw great. that, I was like, I want that plate. I want right? to copy that. Like, right? that's just so cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry you wouldn't pull it off as good as No, James no, of so. course not. <laughs> not even close. It would. Yeah. yeah. When you see that and you're just like, yes. Yeah. I know. Yes. That's and then love. she gets out of the car and you're right. just like, oh, my God. Well, people like Jenny, Pam Brundage. Oh, Pam yeah. Brundage, yeah. who drove her 356 yeah, from right? Chicago to L.A., for Luft. Yeah, I met Pam at Newcomb's Ranch yeah. that, like, that one morning. I mean, how cool. And, and I park, I pull up and I park with the Emory Special right next to her at yeah, Newcomb's, right? exactly. She is just the coolest lady. Yes. Um, and I she mean, has some cool stories. I'd love to have yeah, her on the show. She's got amazing oh, stories. Yeah. Especially yeah. with the 356, how it was in her family. They yep. hunted it down. Oh, She's yeah. got that bill that's coming. You know, yeah. she's got the one. And think about it. She's made other trips. She's had that car driven to America, which, you know, mm-hmm. shout out to P-Car Market. Yeah, Another sponsor Absolutely. of ours. That's, that's their baby. You know, they were familiar with Pam, and I, and I heard she had a little uh, motor issue or something there, yeah. and they were right there uh, supporting her and getting her back on the road and back yeah. home, man. Well, it's and awesome. here, here's a great little story. So when we were out in May for Luft, <clears throat> Pam, um, you know, she drove by herself mm-hmm. from Chicago out there, had the 356. Total savage. She, she <laughs> sends me a text early in the morning. She's like, my, I've got a problem with my clutch cable. And it, this is Friday morning yep. before Pre, yeah, Rod moved. Emery's going to unveil his, exactly. his mm-hmm. RSR at Peterson. Yep. So the whole Porsche community is, is flying all over the place. Yeah, because everybody has builds right. that yeah. live in the area. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Everybody's on the 11th hour. Right. So I contact Sarah DeCarman from LA Dismantler. Uh-huh. I tell her what Pam's sto- issue is. She tells me, contact John Esposito. Yeah, Espo. I, yeah. I reach out to Esposito. He reaches out to Pam and drives down to her house and fixes her clutch cable in her oh, driveway. Man. Yeah. And Esposito's having an open house that afternoon. Exactly. So no, when you talk about the people That in shows you how good yeah, Esposito, he, and he's a great guy. He's a great guy. His he's daughter's guy. awesome. She's doing a thing, too, right. with women in Porsche. It's yeah. awesome. So uh, the, the, this community, it's just, you know, since getting into this industry for me back in 2014, mm-hmm. which this is my sec, this was my second career. Yeah. yeah. I mean, my Rolodex of friends has exploded, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So... You know, when it when it's my time to be to be put away, and I, there's going to be way more people hopefully raising yeah. glass to exactly. me and saying, "Hey, you know, doing it, some Porsche burnouts, for right?" Them. You know, yeah, exactly. So it's it's so additive. Just make sure they're not from electric car, okay? That's yeah, awesome. exactly, exactly. <laughs> the hell with that. <laughs> well, I had the whole talk with Chris Cluel about uh, the future of motoring, yeah. and I, I don't agree with him. I told him he's got to get out to SEMA, and yeah, then, and then tell me that he thinks he, he is a little, going away. He is a little doom and gloom oh, sometimes. He admitted. Right? He said, yeah. "I'm real doom." I'm like, it's I, not that, but that's just it. Chris's personality. That, that's right. how he is. He's right. he's always the the storm is coming. Right, we're gonna hey, die. Right, <laughs> and shout out to them, Chris and Jake. They're yeah. they're our next event. You know, we got twelve of us at yeah. least going to the Overcrest Overcrest Rally. rally. Cool. Yep, they you know? do the cool thing they're doing. Yeah, we we have you know we had Chris on. You know, we missed Jake. He didn't make it unfortunately, but um, we'll get him on the next one. Or Jake was probably out on his Harley. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, like just to touch on it again, I know we've harped on it a lot, but the friendship, we use that word pretty lightly because that's described in a lot of arenas. You're like, oh, we're friends with so-and-so, but it's actually genuine friends. It's not just car stuff. We, everybody in, it, that, that is Porsche friends are doing things for each other above and beyond, even like somebody you think you're friends with. You're like, hey, bud, you know, you want to get together and watch some football? Yeah, yeah that's cool. And you're like, hey, you know, my car's kind of broke down. Can you come over? And you're like, call AAA, man. What's your deal? Like, don't call me. But like that story you just shared with yeah. the Espo, he doesn't even know her. Right. And he has an open house going on, and he comes over, and he fixes a clutch cable for, for somebody that right. he doesn't even know. And yeah. now mm-hmm. she's 
always rants and raves about how great yeah. they are, and he is a great guy. Yeah. And that just shows you the depth yeah. of the friendships. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So I think that's pretty unique. So let's let's transition yeah. a little bit. Let's yeah. talk about Midwest uh, performance cards. How did all this the start? Second because career. The so, second uh, career. Yeah. So I was I was actually a commodity trader for twenty five years. I was okay. the guy who yelled and screamed with a bright yeah. coat and uh, yeah. So, the sexy uh, job on the floor. It's like that guy's. Rah, 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 it was a riot. Sell, 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 sell. It was one of the best. All those crazy hand signals or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was a great, great way to spend <laughs> the spend middle, my the main, middle finger. Main life, right. <laughs> I was communicating. Um, but I became a customer of the shop in 2005 when I bought my first Porsche. Okay. Um, Which picked, was 88 Turbo. Nice. Uh, picked up, picked it up in Denver. Went out there with my 10 year old son and drove it back. Cool. Only got one speeding ticket. Um, Doing That's 85 in Nebraska, That's but I had just good. been doing 135, so, so it could have been a lot worse. <laughs> well, I-80 um, is brutal, all you folks oh, who don't know. Gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Terrible. Make you want to poke your eyes out. But, <laughs> Den- you know, Colorado is great, and then just coming, just driving. It was a great, great road trip. And so I started coming here for service, uh, met the owner, got to know him, always thought that this place was had a lot more potential, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and found out around 2013 that it was in trouble. Um, so I did, a, I did a deal where I got control of the place in 2014, hired the old guy as a GM. Mm-hmm. He stayed around for a year, um, then moved on to, to it, still in the auto industry, yeah. I, I believe. But um, so we've been growing ever since 2014. Yeah. Opened a second shop in 2018 up in the north suburbs where we do a lot of nice. performance work and mm-hmm. add-ons. And, you know. um, so, but it's just been... It's the networking in this industry, and I've gotten really involved in the industry, yeah. like in mm-hmm. like tech, uh, technician issues, training, yeah. um, really ca- tr- trying to advance the auto and change the culture, industry. right? Change right. the culture, right? Mm-hmm. Right, and that's culture is perfect because our two top things we work on here are culture and process. Mm-hmm. And when you get those two things, if you can get them working together right. Uh, I mean, you can create just a killer uh, mm-hmm. organization, right? And Absolutely. The magic happens. Then. Right, right. So one of the th- I was really glad one of the things you said was when you were here on a work day on Friday, uh-huh. you said um, you were struck by how calm everything was yes. on our shop floor. Because Friday's usually the oh shit yeah. day, right? It's the push them out, out the door, out, right? It. Everybody's like, is my car done? What? What's going on? Right. But our guys are walking around. They're calm. There's no swearing at each other. Exactly. Everybody's, you know, I think everybody here really likes coming to yeah. work and they get to work on the coolest stuff around. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. And, and for being in the city, I mean, we're, you know, we're one of the last ones in the city that are really specialized in Porsche. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. And uh, so it's, it's just been a great experience. And the, the networking, I've made so many friends throughout this industry. So yeah. It's been, a, it's really been a cool, cool thing to get into. I think that one of the interesting things that you and I talked about offline, I, I love how you did come from another area because yeah. you were able to bring a different theory yep. to an industry that didn't have those I, I want to say not everybody I mean it's not fair to say everyone because there are great shops out there but yeah. but they're few and far between that have the proper culture that take care right, of right. the technicians properly treat them with the respect because they are craftsmen absolutely and instead of working them like uh, a race dog right <laughs> you know instead of saying like look you right. got another race to run. Right. <laughs> There's yeah. no rest for you. <laughs> yeah. And then blow them out the bottom and then the industry exactly. burned out. Yeah. Exactly. Well, a so, lot of shop owners are, seem to me that they're great wrenches, right? But they just don't have that business acumen. I totally agree with that. Mm-hmm. Right. Totally, totally agree with that. And, and all my people can do much better and be taken care of much better if I'm not doing anything on mm-hmm. the shop floor. If I'm working on the business. Yes, and, and, you know, that's, yeah. that's where everybody can be more successful. Yeah, you're yeah. moving the needle where it needs to move. And that let, you're basically letting them do what they're good at. For sure. Instead yeah. of micromanaging it. I mean, you can totally take it and put it in a corporate setting yeah. and say a lot of those shops micromanage their techs yeah. instead of giving them the benefit of the doubt and say, hey, you have a project. Knock it out. I'll see right. when I see you. Right. Like empowering the people. And, like, I definitely got that feel, Aaron and I, mm-hmm. when we were here, the calmness of the shop, the cleanliness of the shop, how – respectful everybody was that worked here mm-hmm. how happy they all seemed yeah. you know it's it's you're changing the industry in the sense of you know with what you're doing internally and it's 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 nice to see thanks and he's yeah. getting new digs soon too yeah, yeah exactly gonna, he's going to be moving to another place which is going to be super cool i'm excited to see that yeah it's it's a really cool space yeah so it's about a mile west of here and then in another hot neighborhood but you're going to see 
you know, inside baseball, we won't get too far into it. You're going to see Midwest performance cars probably start popping up all over the world, all over. <laughs> like, the global yeah. Southwest performance yeah, Exactly. Cars. <laughs> it's like, this is a, what? Right. <laughs> You're like, that's the guy. You yeah. know, but, but really kudos to you for, for infusing that type of culture and, and being a good boss too, because taking care of your folks and you realize if you take care of them, they're going to take care of you. And that's, and I think that's ta- boss. And they're going to take care of the customers. Absolutely. And that really comes through because we have customers who like leave reviews and they're like, I've never had an experience like this. Yes. Your people, they call our people out by name. Mm-hmm. And uh, man, it's, it's really, really gratifying yeah. to see your people do well. Yeah. It's refreshing from, from us and an external standpoint to come to a place that's not just a hustle and bustle, grind them out, get them out yeah. type a place where people are coming to a place where they know their car is going to be taken care of and as we know the these cars you know if you ever have children they, they're like your children yeah so you yeah. want somebody to care about what they're working on and definitely have that feel at this place yeah well and then getting in this industry that has enabled me to do all these things like go to Luft go meet Rod Emery and mm-hmm. get a tour of his shop. Exactly. Right? I mean, how crazy is that? Yeah, outstanding. And you still see a that, fan. Right? Yeah. Uh, and you see that same kind of culture in there. I mean, everybody is just, they're working and mm-hmm. they're happy and Rod is a fantastic guy. I exactly. Mean, guy gave me like five minutes of his day, the day yeah, that the he day was unveiling yeah. this car. The day and they, that. And they were still doing assembly. Yeah. Like you said. Right. Yeah. I got yeah. a guy, who I got a should <clears throat> shout out to and I know you guys love him. And speaking of my Le Four experience, Mr. Benton, yes, talk about someone who, had, who loves what they do. And what that a great guy, guy gave me and this knucklehead friend of mine about an hour <laughs> and a half of his time the Saturday before the big event. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was, you know, awe inspiring. John is such a great guy. And that, and it just goes to, you, you know, we could just go down the Rolodex yep. of names and it just, it just adds strength to what we've been saying about how mm-hmm. great the friendships and the, and the people that are in this industry that they care about each other. Yeah. And it, it's unique. Yeah, it really is. And it's and it, we're not just fanboying out because we are all clearly are Porsche guys. Right. But you know we are knowledgeable enough to know that other brands exist, and we also all have friends that within that, and they don't have anything like this. Right. Within those marks. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. And there's another guy I got to call out in Newport Beach, Kevin Lynch. Kevin oh yeah. Lynch Wolfpack is the man. 901. Yeah, we love Kevin. Wolfpack901.com. Yeah. Foundation that's getting young people into the air cooled space. Yes. He's uh, as apprenticeship. Yeah. Apprenticeship yeah. program is outstanding and yeah. good for him for kind of spearheading that and having yep. a vision to want to do that. And we've touched on it. And Kevin's such a great supporter of the show. And we can't say enough great things about Kevin. He's such a good person, a good hearted person mm-hmm. and wants to really just give back to the community and the world. Yeah. Well, the so. funny thing is too. So we're hanging with at Benton's and John makes a call to Kevin. And I didn't know who Kevin was. Mm-hmm. And he said, you know, he was hosting at his house. Like yeah. you guys were there. This yeah, past exactly. Year. And he sent us two goofballs over there and he's got <laughs> this nice spread and we're meeting everybody. And yeah, it was, I call him the host with the most, man. That was he great, is. right? Yeah, such a good setup, right? Yeah, and such yeah. a such an accommodating host, and you know he knows people are in from out of town, and such a cool thing. And that's that's what it's about, man. Yeah. Like, and I just we just love doing stuff like this, and love you know showcasing good things and good-hearted stuff. And you guys are giving back to the community, and it's just it's just good karma. It's just good energy, and it's just such feel-good stuff. You and know. I, we both heard this yesterday at the show. Just what a what a great vibe there was around the show. It was right, such a good vibe. Yeah, Everybody so. was super chill. Everybody's yeah. super happy. It's that's what it's about. Yeah, yeah we have no room for douchebaggery. No. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, exactly. Well put. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. On that note. Yeah. I just invite you to leave. But yeah. Anything else that you guys want to showcase before we we part ways yeah. or? Well, I just. You just give a final shout out to the board. So it's me, Andy, yeah. Alex Block. You know, you've seen his 914 that he chased down. It was his father's car. Yeah. His father sold it. And then his father, you know, he lost his father. Yeah. Tremendous story. Uh, Jack Schroeder shot it for Type 7 magazine about a month ago. Mm-hmm. So he's on the board. Nate Greedy, who nice. was the MC, you know, the six foot seven guy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And his uh, black GT, yeah. GTS, excuse GTS, me. Yeah. So, of course, John Westra, you know, creator of the story segment. Mm-hmm. And then Mr. Kubrick, who we mentioned, you know, our yeah, architect. Absolutely. There's one, you know, Dan is a wild man. And I don't think I want to mention you guys. You don't <laughs> really realize this. His air-cooled motor is in pieces in his dining room and his condo blocks away from here. Wow. <laughs> that's super cool. You that's know? living the brand. But that the is. But the thing is, like, dude, exactly. Dan, That's super cool. Dan, get the work done. Yeah. 
Get I mean, it done. He's driving the hell out of that Boxster he bought, but he wants, you know, he loves his, uh, I forget his SC or 3.2, but he loves the damn thing. So nice. we need to have that back on the road next year. Love that passion. We're though, calling yeah. him out, right? right? We're calling yeah. him out. Get it yeah. done, yeah. man. You got the winter. Love that passion. That's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're going to be freezing, so fix that thing. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, awesome. But want to say another thank you guys, you and your entire staff, everybody was involved, all the sponsors. What a great event. What a great location. What a great city. And what a great uh, opportunity, a charity-wise, to almost essentially, not officially a charity, but to give back to the community, uh, you know, with the books for the kids. Mm-hmm. Everything well thought out. It's so many good pillars involved in this yep. thing. And we just want to say thank you guys yeah. so much for putting this on. With that said, Claudia, you know, Carson's widow, is going to be heading our uh, charitable efforts next year. So she already has oh, outstanding charity lined up. Yeah, so. great. I'm glad she's going to be involved nice. in that. That's yeah. awesome. Very, very nice. Um, well, thanks a lot to you guys for coming out. Yeah, you're welcome. For supporting yeah. the show. Of course. For giving us more publicity. Of course. And, uh, mm-hmm. For coming here and doing it. We love pop. you guys. You guys yeah. are our brothers, man. That's like, good. We love you guys, yeah. man. So, yeah, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Sounds right. good. All right. Yep. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of PCAR Talk. Connect with us on Instagram at PCAR Talk or online at pcartalk.com.